joining us today is Dmitry Bakanov. Come on, here we go. All right. Thanks for clapping all the way to the microphone. That's fucking awesome. Uh, hey guys, uh, my name is Dmitry Bakanov. I am um, super Eastern European. Um, I am allowed to be here until March, so it's all good. Uh, <laughs> then I'm gonna have to find something else to do, but hopefully my eBay passport will come through in time, so fuck it. Um, good, some of you laughing at that, the rest of you are like, oh, it's too soon, we don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. <laughs> this might not be a joke, so hurry up, dickhead. It's fine, man, nah, I'm, um, I'm super fucking Eastern European, right? So much so that I'm doing this gig for way cheaper than everyone else tonight. Right? <laughs> and hopefully I'll do a better quality, but we'll see about that. <laughs> Oh man, no, like I've got, I've got, like I've got a super Eastern European family, right? Because my father's Russian and my mother's Ukrainian, which basically at the moment makes me my own worst enemy. <laughs> so, that's the entire fucking reason I've been pretending to people for the last three years that I'm Greek. <laughs> it's so much easier, right? Because I don't know about you, man, but like I meet all these people that think they're like politicians, like, and they're like, oh my god, you're half Russian, half Ukrainian. What do you think about the conflict? And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, thank you, you're fucking laughing. They don't react that way. They're like, oh, how could you not care about your fellow countrymen? I'm like, mate, look at it from my point of view. It doesn't matter who wins. I get to claim allegiance either way. <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> See, cl glad. I love the fact that you guys are laughing, man. I did that joke in Bath and 500 people just went, oh, you're terrible. After the show, an 80-year-old lady cornered me and she's like, young man, you can't be this callous towards your fellow countrymen. You know, just because you're lucky enough to, you know, to be in Britain. And I was like, I didn't even know what to say, right? I just looked at her and I was like, bitch. <laughs> so I was like, I worked hard, I saved up, I got myself a passport of eBay fair and square. <laughs> I was so proud of it as well, right? Like, I, I kid you not, right? Like, when I got my passport, I was showing off to everyone, right? By the way, is there a foreigner here who's got a British passport? Well, just one guy who's like, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there you go. Do you know what's on the British passport? <laughs> See, there you go. See, I didn't either, right? Because I was showing off with my passport to everyone, right? I ended up showing off to my girlfriend who's Australian because I saw her passport and she had a kangaroo and an emu on it. I was like, that's not serious. I was like, you can't use a kangaroo to represent your, your country. I was like, a kangaroo will lose any fight. I was like, you need a strong animal, like a lion, right? Because that's what we got. Because I was like, a lion will fuck up a kangaroo any day of the week. The problem is, my girlfriend's really smart. She just looks at me, she's like, yeah, dumbass, what else you got? And I looked at my passport, I'm like, fuck. Who put a unicorn on this? <laughs> I was fucking confused, right? Because I was like, you know, I was like, this can't be real, right? They sent me a fucking fake one. I googled it. I got even more fucking confused, right? It turns out the unicorn is there to represent Scotland. Just a whole room going, nah, dickhead, you're lying. Do you mean, like, you're one of those fools that got fucked up by Wikipedia. Do you mean, that's what I thought. No, I spoke to some people. It turns out it's true, right? The unicorn is Scotland's national animal. It Google it after, man, it's fucked up. You're like, yeah, it's true. Why? Do you mean like, Scot like, I don't know if any of you have ever been to Scotland. Scotland is not a country that should be represented by a pony that farts uh, rainbows. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I've been to Scotland. Scotland should be represented by a picture of a guy shoving a broken pine glass in another guy's face. <laughs> I said that on stage in Glasgow because I thought I was funny. I was wrong. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? The second I fucking said it, there was a guy in the front row who was sitting where you are, right? The second I said it, he just jumps up and I'm like, yes, sir, can I help you? He looks me dead in the eye without blinking. He's like, oi, mate, it's not a unicorn. I'm like, I will believe whatever the fuck you say. Because you know I mean? this guy was like a big rugby playing looking dude, you know, had tattoos on his neck, which we all know means he's given up on society. Do you know I mean? He's the man going into prison, prepared for prison. I'm like, you know I mean? I'm like, fuck it. I'm like, whatever you say it is, I'll go with it, right? He looks me dead in the eye without blinking. He's like, mate, it's a pony. And we stuck a pine glass in his face. <laughs> I 
was like, fuck, you're good. No, yeah, my, my, I tell you what, like, my favorite thing about being Eastern European right now, right, is everyone's asking me about Brexit, right? And it's always so caring and compassionate because, like, you know, it's London and people are like, oh my God, Dimitri, you know, have you started experiencing racism? Have you <laughs>